to eating. And the, see, the coconut water really remedies all of those those things. Uh, in fact, and like I like I spoke about earlier uh, in this talk, is that we're fasting not for this week, but for next week. And see, we're drinking the coconut water again—a gallon of coconut water every day. You know, it, I mean, you're getting food as water. You know, this is a complete whole food. So you're bringing this in, it's going into your intestines, it's going into all your internal organs, soaking, working, allowing your body to do it on its own effort. You don't need no stimulation from any, any herbal teas or any colonics or anything like that. Coconut water is a whole water that's coming in, it's going in and soaking. So you may have, uh, you know, diarrhea. You may, your body even may want to vomit. Again, these are all natural. These are things you want to welcome. You want to embrace, <laughs> you know, because this is your body's way. Everyone is different. It, none of that may not happen, but if it does, embrace it, you know, because that's the body saying, you know, just like you have your 28-day flow. This is gonna you're you're creating the the uh, the the uh, the environment for it to you know for it to do its work that it's designed to do. See, when we bring in teas and these kinds of things, we're bringing in, uh, we're bringing in, um, we're, we're, we're forcing the body to react because these things, these herbs and things can be highly stimulative. See, the coconut water, this thing, we want to de-stimulate. We get enough stimulation from all the vitamins and all the stuff we take in, trying to be healthy. You know, the thing is that we can't, we cannot, um, you know, everyone wants to know what does this have, and what does that have, and you know, superfoods and all this. But we can't build in a dirty house. You know, if you want to take, if you got broken up furniture, you want to bring new furniture. You got to take the old furniture out to make make space for the new furniture. So this is what we're doing. We 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 and see and see everywhere we have everywhere our blood goes, which is everywhere. This is where toxins go. You know, everything we eat gets transformed into blood, blood travels everywhere. So, you know, with diabetics, what happens? The extremities. Because again, the blood is traveling to the feet, to the hands, and you know, you start getting cold, you know, because the circulation, that's what, see, starch is going into all the extremities. So it's affecting your joints, you know, your, your ankles and your feet, because there's no, there's no circulation. Again, this stuff is paste. You eating breads and, and cereals and all these things that we all are addicted to. Yes, it's an addiction. It's not a true food. It's found in nature. Um, so what's happening is that uh, with the diabetic, the diabetic, you know, it just starts to shut down all the things. Got to get cut off. So essentially, you, you eliminate starch, you eliminate diabetes. Okay, so, um, so with the coconut water, again, we, we're bringing this in. It's traveling through, and what's what's happening is that the lymph nodes, you know how we have, like sometimes we get like, you know, some people, you know, uh, stuff start forming in their wrists, and, you know, anywhere there's open spaces, you know, starts to try to uh, get in there, or the lymph will get built up so that it would, you know, start forming like stuff. And uh, what will happen is that when we start to fast, then the lymph starts to dump back into the blood because the lymph cleanses the blood. So when we when we thin the blood naturally with the coconut water, the lymph will begin to drop into the blood. Then you got excessive urination, which is a, which is what you want. So you want to be urinating, get used to urinating maybe ten times a day. Uh, maybe it might wake you up in the middle of the night. Um, this is all again. These are the these are the uh, you know. I mean, we have to sometimes go through a little inconvenience for it to be convenient in the long run. Okay, so, um, so the other thing I want to mention too is that um, you know, for those of you, especially who is doing the whole week, um, you know, one of the things you know, in, in reference to the lymph, again, we got toxins everywhere, and what what the toxins are, when I say toxins, really what I'm saying is mucus. Okay, again, mucus is that white, phlegm, filmy, sticky stuff. And mucus is, is, is really our protection. And that's what makes the vaccination, vaccines are so dangerous is because 
it goes right past like if we were taking vaccines like like well, how we take food, then at least the mucus could catch it. But when we taking vaccines, it's going right to the bloodstream, like it right, go right past the mucus membranes because the mucus is our protection. You know, when we eat anything foreign or anything less than ideal, mucus develops, and that's really. And then the thing is that. But, you know, on, on one, on, on, on the bad side, in terms of it being imbalanced, you know, mucus develops year after year, decades, then that, again, that's what, that's what, did, you know, mucus is the seed of tumors, and tumors is the seed, of, again, of cancerous tumors. So, ultimately, that's what, that's what can become. That's, that's one route that most people experience. The other route is, 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 is finding a balance with the mucus. You know, and, and this is what, this is how we eliminate mucus. There's no uh, spa, colonic, you know, anything that I know of that can, that can get rid of the mucus in your body. You can only do it through fasting. It's the only route. Uh, so, one of the, 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 the key part of our body that gives you that signal is our tongue. So, um, you want to be monitoring your tongue. Uh, throughout the day, and especially uh, as you wake up, because you're going to be on the breath, and you'll see that white film, and the tongue is the mirror for our stomach. So, you know, you want to get like a tongue scraper, or just brush your tongue really well, um, as we, uh, as you, so you want to monitor it, because again, uh, the mucus is, you know, is, is, is coming out. And, and again, we want to welcome that. So, um, yeah, before we uh, hand out the food, uh, I'll t uh, we'll take this time to, I guess, go around. You can um, share whatever it is you want to share. Uh, <coughs> in introduce yourself. I mean, part of the, 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 the idea of us coming together as a group is that we draw strength from one another. Um, you know, again, I did a lot of closet fasting, and you know, again, you know, we we this is an animal. We're trying to tame the animal, and when we come together as a collective and do this together, then you know, not only are we draw strength from one another, but a part of that is the, is the psychology that we're all accountable. You know, we're holding each other accountable. We all see each other in here, and you know, I mean, of course, you know, uh, so so that's that's. A lot of times, just the thing that we need in order to keep us on the path, to keep us on the straight and narrow, and say like, okay, this is I'm going to continue to do this even though I want to eat. Because your mind will start really throwing all kinds of game, you know, saying like, oh, you know, I could just have a little of that, a little of this, or, and then it's like you get that first, it's like, trust me. I mean, even it does, and it, and and fasting. I mean, you know, the beautiful thing about it is that. You, you know, you make it a lifestyle, and it doesn't really get any easier. It doesn't. I mean, the only thing that does get easier is the detox reactions. I mean, you don't get the headache. You may get the headache. Uh, that's probably the most common thing. Mm -hmm. And really, I should explain, because with the headache, again, toxins is being released into the bloodstream. <clears throat> you don't have any food down here for the blood to really be busy with. So what's happening is that the blood starts now traveling through the body up to the brain, boom, you know, you got this headache, or what do you call it, hungry headache. Oh, I got to eat something. You got to eat because then the blood will then travel back down here when you put some food down here. But now what you got to do when you get the headache is to keep drinking. Let the blood, let it run its course, run out, run out through the kidneys, through your urination. You know, that's what you want because Again, this is this is the body doing what it's designed to do. The body can only heal. The body is only designed to help self heal. There's really nothing out there that can really allow our bodies to do what it's already designed to do. But it only it only can do that when we allow it, and that's by to stop eating. See, it, it, it throws an emergency crisis at you, you know, via sickness and illness to shut down the appetite and say, you know, I'm, I'm just too weak to eat. So now the body can use this energy to heal. So um, so we'll go around. Uh, I think that's pretty much what I wanted to say. Of course, there's a lot more, but uh, we can go around and get everybody to introduce themselves. <coughs> um, you know, how many days you're doing, so I can get a kind of idea of who's doing what. 
and um, um, <coughs> I'll probably say more after we, and then you know we'll pass out the food and, uh, and then the juice. So um, let's start right here. Hi, my name is Sheree. Um, well, this is uh, my first time doing a real fast. I tried, you know, on my own before. It wasn't really successful. I relapsed like that. Um, like you said earlier about the starch of being addictive, that's my issue. I'm very much addicted to starches and dairy and all those things. So um, I just really wanted to take it seriously this time around. And I've been talking to Lynette about it, and she told me about this um, this fast that's going to happen right now and I said you know what now's the time to do it and I'm in an environment where I'm actually going to get some support my family you know they're they're eating what they want to eat and it's really hard to be around them because I mean they'll get me to relax really easy so I think that <laughs> just having a support system is important so All right. are you doing the whole week I'm doing a four day I'm taking baby steps <laughs> <laughs> Well, I want to mention every, anybody doing three days or four days, again, uh, I should really, uh, okay, usually, okay, when you go into a fast, it takes, those first two, three days are usually your hardest days. Sometimes it's the first day, sometimes the second day, sometimes the third day. But really by the third day, somewhere in there, it definitely, you, you know, you hit a stride in your life. I mean, so many people, even after they've done the week, say, wow, I can keep going. You know, and that's really, you know, for those of you who are doing the three days, um, you know, of course the option will be open if you want to finish the week. So I, w I really, anybody, uh, I know I talked to uh, at least a uh, few of you in here who were um, planning to do three or four days, but, you know, again, I wanted you to start when everyone else started so that if, again, if you wanted to ride it out, then that option is still available for you to do. Okay, while I'm, you know, here this week. So. Okay. Um. Hi, my name is Angie. This is my first detox, and I do love starch, so I'm an addict also. And I'm doing a three day. Got to start small. You mentioned the coconut water. Mm -hmm. Any specific brand, or they're all basically the same. <laughs> you know, to buy in the store. Uh, yeah, that's that's a that's a tough one. Or the flavored ones, or just the regular, the plain. Ones. Well, you do the best you can. Um, they're pretty much similar. Um, you know, they have ones in the can. They have ones in those boxes. Um, I mean, they're okay. You know, um, you know, you, you they, there's about four or five different ones. You can try each one to see which one, because they all kind of taste a little different. Um, but, um, yeah, you do the best you can, and, again, you look at the other <laughs> options, it's like, the other option is, is your bottled water. You know, I mean, it's better than your bottled water. At least you know where that came from. I mean, because essentially what the coconut water is, is, is essentially, well, the best coconut water is the coconuts, or the best coconuts are the coconuts that are along, I don't know, any of you have been, I'm sure most of you have traveled, you've been to tropical if you haven't, you know, make this the year or next year. But the best coconuts are the ones that grow next to the sea water or the salt water. And they draw that water up because we can't drink sea water. So it draws that water up through the palm, it filters it and makes it perfect for human consumption. You know, it has all the minerals that's in the ocean. Because all the salt minerals, those are minerals. But yet, it's not in a form that we, that can body can use. So, so when you taste in that coconut, you could taste the salt, you could taste the sweet, you could taste it just perfect. And um, uh, I don't know which one out of the box which is the best brand per se. Uh, but you know, you do the best you can. Um, if you're ever in D.C., you know, you call me up, like, cause you know, I, I'm 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 the source. Yeah. All right. All right. You won't give us your number and everything, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right.